सो आई गोट ए न्यू कप टूडे एंड दिस इज ए गिफ्ट फ्रॉम माई सिस्टर फॉर रक्षाबंधन एंड आई थॉट ऑफ शेयरिंग विथ यू नाइस मैसेज राइट सो वेलकम टू डे थ्री ऑफ वेरी लोक कोडिंग टूडे वी गोना टू वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग बिकॉज वी गोना राइट द फर्स्ट वेरी लोक कोड फॉर डिजाइनिंग ए चिप राइट सो इट्स गोइंग टू बी इंटरेस्टिंग If you see our progress, then we have already like we will finish basic today. So in basic, we have already done up to X nor. I hope you haven't faced any difficulty up to that. If you have faced, then please comment down below. I'll try to help you. So today we'll start from this declaring wires. So we have already discussed a lot of things about wires, and as name suggests, wire is used for connecting. two module or two circuit component for example here in this diagram what they are trying to do they are trying to connect this not gate and this not gate so in between they need to have a wire right and here if you observe we have three wires actually one is your in wire another is your out wire and then the in between wire we already are declaring wire from day 1 but why we are doing this thing extra here because here in this assignment we have something special and that is we are having a wire inside the module out from outside the module and as i have said module is nothing but a piece of circuits so for example here this piece of circuit is your nothing but a buffer because we have two not gate here so if i give one here it will become zero and we'll get back one again so it's a buffer so from module from the outside of module we can access the in and we can access the out how do you know that you can know this from the declaration of your module see here in module declaration we are inside our bra braces we are actually giving the ports so ports are accessible for outside world but inside the module or inside the circuit component that wires or anything which will be there are not accessible from uh, like to the outside world and that's the same thing is happening here this wire won't be accessible from outside the world so that's why we need to assign or we need to declare a wire inside so they have already given you some hints here how they are defining actually but i'll straightly go to the practice and in the practice they have a wonderful circuit here actually it looking like a circuit a original circuit and a circuit which we generally keep on using in our normal life so that's why from today onward problem gonna be interesting because you can relate with the things what we are doing here so here they are like hey, they have given us this module you can see this is the circuit or the module outside world this four input and two outputs are available so in the declaration also they have given this thing see in in the declaration on already they have given us three four input and two output right but in between but inside the module we have need to define one two and three wires these two wires are the same one so that's our task the task number 1 for today the 3rd september so let's do it so everything is defined here what we need to do we need to define three wire actually here inside so how we define wire we define wire simply we'll write wire and then the name so any name they suggested i think they have said you can you can use any any name okay uh, here they have written you can use any name so what i'll write for for example here we have two wire or the output they are from end so for our simplicity what we'll write we'll write and 1 and comma and 2 you can oh i am using comma yeah you can declare your wire in the same line using a comma like multiple wire and then another wire which is a output of a or gate so i'll write or 1 or you can give any name as you want but it's okay you can give anything it's define definition is done after that your and 1 and 1 is a output of one of the and gate and we already have done defining and gate in behavioral domain and we know it and how we do it we do it as sign and what are the input of your first and gate and the, those are a and b so we will write and one is the output of first and gate and which will be a and and person b semicolon and for the second and gate we will do the same thing and d keep a space in between sometime it create error and then we have a or gate so we'll write assign and output of or gate as we have defined here that is your or one right so we'll we'll write here or one equal to now tell me 
what are the input of your OR gate. You just go here and see. Uh, what are the input of your OR gate? The output of end 1 and end 2. And what are the output of your end 1 and end 2? You have defined on only. And those are your end 1 and end 2 net name. So I'll write end 1 and for all the symbol which Verilog support and that is your this symbol end 1 and end 2 and then semicolon so that's part uh, like first stage of the circuit is done this up to this part is done then we have the output of our or one so one of the output is directly going to out and whose name is out directly and another output is going to a not gate and then its name is out and so not gate we have already defined in, in our last lecture this is just the where which we already have defined our last lecture so i hope it's very easy for you so the first statement would be assign the out equal to the output of or one so like or gate so or one comma and assign out underscore n equal to inverter so how we define inverter in behavioral domain it is just make inverse of the output and i hope it's done so we will submit and see we have a success message here uh, these are these are the input all the stimuli they have applied here so they they can use any 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 random input nothing our circuit should work for any random input right so they have using this ran random input and they are telling me these are your output and these are our output like they the as the circuit they have designed and after comparing these two mismatch are zero so that means we have successfully completed task one of today now the task is very 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 interesting and they're gonna be designing a chip very small chip but it's all okay when we are starting so we're gonna design a very complex chip in future so if you are excited don't forget to like this video and let's start so the chip name is 74 yeah and you can buy this chip from from outside market 7458 so here they are saying that and here you can see uh, it is a general purpose chip here we have uh, actually one two three four and gate and two or gate but the ma main important thing because we are defending the very low code and that is we need to see our input and output so here we have one two three uh, five by five 10 input and 2 output so in our module definition for sure we need to define them like from outside the world what they can see but inside the world what we have see uh, we have here 1 and then this is 2 and then this is 3 and this is 4 we have 4 internal net and after that we have 5 and 6 internal net those 5 and 6 net will become the output in, in, in the next stage, right? So we need to first define them inside the module because they are not accessible from outside the module. So let us do this task first. And before that, let us see what they are trying to tell us. Uh, you choose to assign statement. Uh, okay, 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 everything is there. If I go down, yeah. Uh, the good thing is that they already have defined us input here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. yeah. They have defined, they have also defined the output. So our first task would be to define how many wires? Five wire. So we will do that now. So we will write where and, uh, and we can give any name. So let us give name as I1, I2, I3. Yeah. So now we need to define like which wire gonna be output of which gate. So we'll go up, we'll do like this. This is one, uh, two, three, four, and then five and six. Oh, there are six net actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, six net. So we have one, two, three, four. Yeah, four from output of N gate and two from output of OR gate. So let us do that thing here. So, and also let's see uh, inputs, like which input is going to which net, like which gate. So our P2A and P2B are going to the first. So better would be, let us do one thing. Let us take a screenshot of this and open the paint paste it here and let us do it side by side yeah now it will be easy <laughs> okay so from the side you can see that your first end gate first end gate like i'm i'm referring to this one i hope you can see it right or let me do the marking here so this is your first end gate this is your second end gate for the first end gate what we have we have uh, and out 
like we can define anywhere so we'll define i1 i1 equal to p2a so p2a n person p2b okay so first n gate is defined then for second n gate i2 equal to and we are missing something tell me what we are missing the assign statement because these are the i1 i2 are the net type variable or they are continuously driven type variable variable or data type we won't say variable actually data type and for them we need to have a this statement assign otherwise it's a uh, error they will show okay so for i2 or the second gate it is our p2c and person p2d so that is also defined now we'll go to the third gate we will write assign and for the third gate it is p1c and p1b so we'll, we'll write i3 equal to p1c and person p1b and for the last gate it is i4 equal to p1c and p1d uh, we, we have missed one thing here and that is that is a good thing actually see this n gate first two n gates first two n gates are of your two input n gate but then the third and fourth are three input n gate so here we have p1b p1c and p1a so we'll write p1a here also p1a and person p1a p1c and p1b perfect and for the fourth one it is p1f n person p1 uh, it is c or d i can't okay let, let us go up and see okay it is e f e d okay f e d p1 e and p1 d a v c d e f d e f perfect okay so up to this two uh, these four n gates are defined now we need to define our uh, one or gate here and second or gate here so for the first or gate our output can be any net name and we have already defined uh, five nets so we need to have another net and that is i6 so first let us assume it's a i5 net so i5 would be the output of your first and second end gate so output of your first and second end gate are i1 and i2 so we'll write i1 and or symbol is this and i2 semicolon and for the second gate so i3 and or i4 and done anything we are missing yeah we are missing and that is we need to assign the output also so our output is assign output name is your p2y so assign p2y equal to and output is like module output is your output of gate or gate one first or gate one so output of your first or gate one is i5 and then assign output of like second module output and that is p1y p2y and p1y and that is equal to your i6 and comma and i hope we have done everything perfectly so let me submit and wonderful you have done it so we have successfully done our first chip design not design but yeah at least very low at least rtl coding we have done not rtl exactly but yeah very low coding we have done now what we can do this this is success i am not explaining this thing again but after you write your Verilog code, these are in your behavioral domain, right? So in behavioral domain, we will do all the verification, everything. If all timing requirements are exactly match, then we'll go to stru structural defin definition, description. So in structural description here in code, any nowhere I have mentioned which gate I am using. I am just using the symbol. This you can not symbol, but yeah, behavioral like this end. But in structural domain, I will explicitly write it's a end gate. And in Verilog, we have some predefined gate, but if you are using some PDK, for example, Sky 130 or any uh, commercial available PDK, then they have their own defined gates, right? So we will use those gate, like end gate, and we will include their definitions because those end gate are also a module. So they will also have a definition and in beneath, they will also have a definition of how in the transistor level they are going to be designed. For example, this end gate, 
this OR gate they will be designed in a transistor level right using CMOS technology for example I am doing our NOT gate project right so in NOT gate project you have already seen how we design a particular gate so similarly for other gate also we will do the exact the same design so now to get this chip in the market we need to send the fabricated or the layout to fabrication lab and fabrication lab will build this chip for us so they need the layout so for getting a layout this behavioral domain code won't work so we need to convert them to structural code like which gate we are using and then we will synthesize to the netlist right and then we will need to develop the layout also and layout from like if we gonna do layout from manual like from scratch it will be a huge time taking so there we have many other automation by which we can do the layout of this everything and then finally finally we will send this to our fabrication unit and they will fabricate these things for us but this is the first step this is the first step for any design you can take up any chip this would be, would be the first step so congratulations to you all and now the time is to answer the answer <laughs> answer the question for the last episodes and that is the difference between your Verilog and system Verilog right so Verilog and system Verilog in, in layman language you can say Verilog is like smaller portion and system Verilog is a bigger portion if you know system Verilog for sure you know the Verilog you need to know Verilog because system Verilog got invented from Verilog only so the first step is learning Verilog if you and the two is also and the reverse is also true if you know Verilog then it is very easy for you to know the system Verilog so actually Verilog is invented long while ago right 1984 that time chip were very very small no testing was very easy but slowly they realized that anytime we gonna do verification we need to have more capability inside the Verilog and that's where they taken the Verilog and they included something more thing right to make it a verification language also so system Verilog is your designing hardware language and also verifying the hardware language so in system Verilog we have many different things like in Verilog you have a assigned statement right uh, and sorry always statement so we have only one always statement we still haven't seen the always statement will go there but in system Verilog we, you have different type of always statement always flip-flop always latch uh, always yeah many things are there then your system Verilog is more resemble to C++ or the ops oriented language object oriented language and anybody who have uh, coded on C++ they find it very easy to implement system Verilog codes because it's following the ops concepts and for me also because I learned my coding from C++ only so for me also Verilog is a little bit harder harder or uh, not intuitive for me because your Verilog is following some other methodology it's called I think paradigm methodology or something I forgot but the ops methodology object oriented programming is very easy very natural to anybody who have learned C++ so their system Verilog is again a master class like if you want to learn but again the first step is always you should start from Verilog as I have started and in future if required then you can go for system Verilog now the question for today we have two questions today and the first question is what are the two main classification of Verilog data type you need to tell it <laughs> okay and the second question is what are the four data value Verilog supports so I can give you one hint as digital are binary so 0 and 1 for sure it support there are two other value also which Verilog data type supports so you need to give that answer write down in the comment section I'll give everything in our next episodes and we still to go 27 days so there are a lot of things gonna come if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to the channel and this question which I am taking every day these are directly from interview questions